Hey guys, Jeff's with Drifter Journey here, uh, coming at you with another one take video. We are currently in the middle of our van build and I'm going to show you guys how to use the uh, vehicle upholstery or felt that we are using for almost all of our walls and like the cubby seat sides and things like that. Um, before we get too far, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends. We're not doing van build videos for everything because there's a lot of other resources out there, but for things that are unique to our van, like the upholstery, we are going to make some videos. So here's this. Uh, you know that our specialty is one take, so I'm just going to show you one panel that we're doing and uh, just kind of walk you through how it goes. So first you're going to need some felt. You can Google automotive felt and you'll find all kinds. Um, this one we actually bought from a local com van conversion company, Colorado Camper Vans. So they sell this by the yard and it's nice stuff. Essentially what makes this different from like crafting felt is that it's stretchy. So you can pull it and stretch it around the contours of the walls of your van or around the corners of these wall panels like I'll show you. Um, the other thing that you'll need is some kind of spray adhesive. So we are using 3M77 and uh, this stuff is kind of a multi-purpose, multi-surface spray adhesive. It is pretty strong smelling, so I'd recommend doing this outside. Um, I'm in the garage today because it's really windy and I'm trying to keep a bunch of dust and leaves out of this, but normally I would be um, outside just in the driveway. You definitely don't want to be doing this in a closed space because that spray adhesive is pretty strong. Uh, you're also going to need some scissors and Probably some cardboard. I'm working on a cardboard surface here just so that I don't get uh, spray adhesive on the garage floor. And um, other than that, we're about ready to go. So let me get the camera set up here. So the piece that we are working on is the panel that goes over the wheel well at the back. So you can see that I've already cut that out. Um, so this will be an interesting piece to show you guys because we'll have some curves to deal with. I also have some notches cut out of the bottom. That's where some of our plumbing hoses come in. Um, so what you want to do, mind the noise, Greg is actually grinding. He's going to do some welding today, so sorry if that's loud. So we cut our felt already to the same size. And because this stuff stretches, you don't have to give yourself a ton of overlap. So. Um, basically, if I show you how I cut it out, you can lay the wood out on the, on top of a big piece of felt, and I'll show you guys. Like this, all you have to do is give yourself about an inch, an inch and a half, all the way around, and what happens when you spray the glue will wrap this around, and that's plenty of a border. Um, you don't need a double side wrap because one side is going up against the wall of the van and you won't see it. So it's a way to save material. It's also a lot easier. Uh, very windy. There's a bunch of leaves blowing in. So what we're going to do is one thing to know about this stuff is I found that when we are spraying it and adhering it directly to the walls of the van, like on the metal pillars and whatnot, it's easier to spray the fabric first. But when I'm spraying it onto the wood, it's easier to just spray the wood. So let me get this set up so you guys can see a little bit better. I'll do that. All right. So shake the can, obviously read all the directions. And I'm just going to give this a liberal coat. Just want to double check that I'm doing the right side. <laughs> um, I just do it kind of piecemeal. So go along the borders and get, get it filled in for a section. And then we're going to take that section of felt and just lay it on top. Double checking that I have enough along the borders. And then you just kind of stretch it while you hold it and then that makes that sure that you don't have like a ton of excess that's gonna get weird on the surface so you're really just kind of tugging and pulling and then obviously I'm to where I stopped my glue so I'm gonna peel that back 
and do that again for another section. It really goes quite quickly once you've kind of gotten the hang of it. So as I do this, I'm just gonna keep pulling, keep smoothing, make sure it's tight, snug against that wood. Alright, okay, so we've got that whole side done, and we're going to flip it over and do the borders. So this is really easy, but it's also easy to get in the swing of things and start spraying the whole piece of wood even though you only need the borders. So just keep that in mind, get the leaves out of my way. So I'm just going to do a thin strip of adhesive all the way around the edge. thing to note with this stuff is it has kind of like a, a time delay and when it gets super sticky if you start um, trying to adhere it too soon it will not really stay tacky you'll have to keep going over and over and over again so I kind of just let it sit there for a second and what I'm doing over here is cutting out the notches of the felt it's easier to do it beforehand for where my water pipes go. So I'll uh, show you guys that once I get it cut. I need to blow it in my stuff. All right, so let me get this started. So essentially you're just grabbing that edge and pulling it and pushing it down. And see how it's peeling up right here? That just means that the glue's not quite ready yet. Um, but if you pull it, if you go back and push it down again, it should stay. Now the thing about the corners is you're going to want to put a pleat to just pull and tuck. And then we're going to snip that off later and it'll look just fine. So just make sure that you get that pulled in real tight, um, especially around like smoother corners, like rounded corners. Um, that's going to be pretty critical to pull in a couple pleats. And then you just cut it off and it's, it's really simple. All right, so another corner. Come back to this side. This stuff is relatively forgiving, honestly. Like if you mess up, you can just peel it back and uh, spray again and re-adhere it. It's, it's really not a huge deal. Um, the biggest mistakes that we've made doing this so far would be trying to start with like too small of a piece so like we had a scrap piece that we wanted to use for something just to try to better utilize our fabric and it uh, wasn't quite big enough so we stretched it too far and it got kind of threadbare and you could actually see the the wood through it so 
Not ideal. All right. Come back over this side. So like over here, I think I kind of took too long to get over here. And now um, my sides aren't quite sticking. So we'll, we'll see, I'm gonna try. And if it doesn't stick, then I can spray more down, but not a big deal. So I'll show you what I did here. Um, on this felt, I cut out the little notches in the felt and we're gonna shove that in there. So I'll show you how to do, oh, this thing's moving. You're not flat anymore, there we go. Oh, bad light, all right. The joys of one take videos. I know they're your favorite. All right, so this is kind of um, a bit of a manhandling process. You just kind of gotta tug at that felt and pull it up. You don't need to be gentle with it. It's, like I said, it's pretty durable. So the idea is just that we get things covered enough that it, uh, that you don't see any wood, right? shorted myself a little bit here. That's okay. All right. Okay, so you can see uh, we've got my notches. It's pretty much holding down. I'll cut all of this excess off and uh, you, you don't really need a lot holding on, see how that's just a little piece of fabric. Um, that should be enough. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut these little corners off. Come back over here for you guys. So this is real simple. You just grab that corner Take your scissors and hold them flat. I guess I have a better angle to show you. Grab your scissors and hold them flat like this, and then you just cut. And that piece comes right off, and then you've got a nice flush corner there. So we'll do that all the way around. Right, so that's that. Um, I'll give you guys a quick close up of what this looks like. Get the mic out of the way. So on the front side, it's fully covered. Uh, you've got your notches here. And I know they looked a little um, rough on the back side, but like I said, the idea is just to cover the wood and you can't see anything from the outside. So. Here's what it looks on the back. And you can just see we've got a nice, solid uh, border all the way around that is sticking. So that one is good to go. We're just gonna go ahead and get that screwed up into the van wall like all the others. And we are almost done with the felting process, which I'm really grateful for. Um, it's, like I said, it's not hard to work with, but it does get tedious. You get a bunch of glue on your hands, which is not my favorite. Um, but yeah, let me know if you guys have any questions. Again, uh, like, comment, subscribe. We appreciate your support. 
Uh, we love sharing this stuff with you as long as it's helpful for you. So let us know if it is or isn't. Um, and that's it. Thanks again for watching.